Okay, now let's look at the trim command. The trim command is when you want to trim a line from another line. So let's say that we come over here and we are going to select a circle, make it rather large. Then we are going to select another circle and we're going to pass the cursor over the edge of the circle so we can get the center point. Then we're going to make another circle. So now we have two circles that are somewhat like a donut. So what we want to do is create a circle up here at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a line from the center of that circle straight up. Now, if we want the circle that we're going to create here in the middle, we're going to have to trim this part and trim this part. So we will type the words trim, and you want to click on the item you're going to trim to, not the actual item you're going to trim. So first we select the circle, hit enter, then we're going to select the line we want to trim and it trims it. So then we type trim again. Select the circle first because that's where we want to trim to. Hit enter and trim. Now we have a nice line right here. We can go ahead and draw our circle based on the midpoint of that line. So now we've just drawn our circle. We can click on the line and delete it. So now we know this circle is in between this line and this line and it is straight up and down vertical. So then we say well I need more of these circles. So then that's where Array comes into effect and we could click Array or we could type Array. It says to select the item we did and what kind of Array did it do? This type of Array is in line or linear. Okay. So let's do undo. So now we will type array again. Let's look. It says rectangular array, path array, or polar. We always want to do polar if it's a circle. If you see the video, it does it in a circle. So let's say we want to select our item. Hit enter. And we are going to make it do polar around the center of this circle. Polar means it will go around in a circle. This way. So let's click it. And now you can see how many we have. We can also come up here and change this to 12. And now we have 12. We can click up here and change it to 4. And we will just have four. We can click it up here and we can tell it's six again. And now we have six.